With Tesla's battery investor day approaching, it's no secret that Tesla has a million mile battery already. While a million mile battery is a revolutionary milestone, Tesla has released clues that point to a battery that will have a lifetime of 2 or even 3 million miles. After all, even a Chinese company named Contemporary Amperex Technology LTD was able to achieve a lifetime of 1 million miles with the lithium iron phosphate mix for the Model 3. In this video, I'm going to lay out all the evidence and explain to you why I believe Tesla's new battery is not what you think. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing for more content like this and let's get right into it. While many believe that Tesla will reveal a 1 million mile battery, Jeff Don, Tesla's battery research partner, has revealed a battery that could last over 6,000 cycles with only 10% degradation. By multiplying the total range with the number of cycles the battery can last, we can calculate the total lifetime in the unit miles. Using these calculations, we obtain a total of a 1.5 million mile lifetime in the 250 mile range Cybertruck and a 3 million mile lifetime in the 500 mile range Cybertruck. Given this high lifetime, it makes sense why Elon Musk built the Cybertruck with such sturdy material. In order for the high battery lifetime to be useful, the vehicle must also last for the same amount of miles. With the Cybertruck's tough stainless steel, this means that the trunk won't get worn down as fast as a normal vehicle. The Cybertruck had to have the sturdiness that it does in order to match with the 2 or 3 million mile battery. With a high lifetime, the Cybertruck will be the perfect robo-taxi vehicle, as it would be difficult to be damaged by the customers. With a lifetime as high as 2 or 3 million miles, Jeff Don also hinted at the vehicle-to-grid applications with the upcoming Cybertruck. In Don's research paper, he stated that this situation may change with the proposed introduction of robo-taxis, long-haul electric trucks, and vehicle-to-grid applications. Cells in the vehicle will be racking up charge discharge cycles even when the vehicle is not moving. Essentially, what Don is saying is that your vehicle will be able to use Tesla's autobader platform in order to trade energy, also known as vehicle to grid. Energy prices fluctuate in a rather predictable way, and Tesla's software platform allows you to autonomously buy energy at a low price and resell it for a higher price. This will allow the Cybertruck to make money without the vehicle even moving. With vehicle-to-grid technology, the Cybertruck will also be able to power your home when plugged in, which would help lower your energy bill. When Tesla states that the long-range Model 3 has a driving range of 322 miles, the company implies that those 322 miles of range should not be used to its fullest extent. Rather, Tesla recommends that you charge the vehicle up to 90% and use it down to 50% for daily driving. This is because if you use it to 0% and charge it to 100%, this degrades the battery lifetime. However, Tesla's new battery will allow you to charge from 0 to 100% with no additional degradation. This process is known as 100% depth of discharge cycling, also known as 100% DOD cycling. Jeff Don leaked this new feature in his research report, which stated that in the former, vehicles will be driving all day much like a conventional taxi and undergoing nearly 100% DOD cycling. Long haul trucks will almost certainly run in near 100% DOD situations. His results also showed how despite 100% DOD cycling, the battery he created could still last over 5,000 cycles. It may seem like the Cybertruck is locked in at a range of 250 miles for the single motor version and 500 miles for the tri-motor Cybertruck. However, Keep in mind that on the Cybertruck pre-ordering site, the range actually has a plus next to it, implying that the range could be improved. For example, with the Tesla Semi, the range was originally estimated at 500 miles, but Elon Musk raised that estimate in 2018 to 600 miles, implying that the battery technology improved over one year. Now Jeff Don's recent patents are showing that Tesla may be in a similar situation to what happened with the Semi. A few months after the release of the Cybertruck, Jeff Don patented two new battery technologies, which are the Tabless Electrode and the NCA Electrode. These patents will allow for a faster 0-60 time, charging rates, and range. In a recent report by Reuters, Tesla stated that their batteries made in China could have a second or third life for applications such as solar panels and power walls. With a lifetime as high as 2 or 3 million miles, 
Tesla's new battery for the US and Europe will likely have a second life, as after 2 or 3 million miles, the battery would still have 90% capacity. If Tesla was to have second lives with the company's battery in China, it only makes sense to do the same with their new battery for the Cybertruck and Semi. This would work in a way where after your battery is worn out, you would still be able to sell your battery to Tesla and get it replaced, lowering the price for the consumer and Tesla for battery replacements. This would also decrease the price to manufacture Tesla's new battery, allowing the company to achieve a cost below $100 per kilowatt hour. Let me know what you think about Tesla's new battery in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next one.